we have a chicken recipe that we make using pickle juice and buttermilk and garlic and special flour and panko bread. Pickle, pickle, pickle juice thing. and buttermilk makes such a great brine. So it makes <laughs> this great brine. So we got into making great fried chicken. So start off with a little seasoned flour. So just a little bit of salt and pepper. We know that routine. Right. And then what we've got here, Rach, is we've got some chicken tenders that have been brined for about two hours. Actually, let me give this a little. And that, yeah, I'll do it. Have been, okay. Thank you very you much. I have no gloves here, so you know, in the restaurant biz, we go with the gloves, but in the rates biz, we're going to do the tongs and oh, do this. You can oh, just put your boy. freaking hand in the Oh, thing. I didn't want to do it the wrong way. <laughs> I didn't want to do it's it the a wrong way. It's a show, guy. Come on, get with the program. Into the eggs. Into the eggs. Now over into some panko breadcrumbs. You want to grab that? Extra yes. crispy. Yep, some cornstarch. Cornstarch. Cornstarch loves to be fried. Uh, a little bit of flour. AP flour, cornstarch, panko. Salt and pepper. S and P. There we go. Look at the Garlic. team we are. Little onion powder. Little paprika. paprika. There we go. All new stir. Now, this is where things are going to get weird. All this right. is where things are going to get weird. Mix that up. That cornstarch is really key. That's going to give you the extra crispy crunchies. Extra crispy crunchies. What happens is the wet chicken collects the flour, the flour collects the, the uh, egg wash, and the egg wash now collects the cornstarch and the breadcrumbs. But here's where the key is, Rach, and you know this, but I'll just go yeah, over yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We pile it on top, you and then do the press. we give it a little press. We're not tenderizing these because we don't want to break them down and lose their texture. So we give it a little press like that. You just that. want that coating to okay? stay on it. Give it a little shake. Now, the key to this is let them rest a bit so that all that so all of that adheres and onto it. And okay? settles in and crusts up. Exactly. Hit it with a little bit of, of cooking spray, your favorite time. There's right. a canola spray here, and that will help it brown a little bit. But you're getting really great heat. You're getting great heat circulation. And then what? And takes, it's an air fryer. And it does, and it fries it, and it puts a great crunch and a great crisp. And I've never used them. I just started getting into them because I was coming to see Rach, and I think that you're going to be impressed. Can we see? Ta-da! Wow! Look at, Look at the color on these suckers, huh? Mm. Nice, right? Okay. Throw oh, so them on there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need a couple pieces mm. of pepper jack pepper cheese. Pepper jack cheese. Huh? Oh, into the broiler. I'm gonna make one of these sandwiches yeah, you for make you. It for them. You're just, I'm gonna just oh, put just some ranchero the... on the one I've been eating. Well, they're great. <laughs> so we make sandwiches at Chicken Guy. We also serve the chicken tenders, and we also serve them on salads, and we serve them on top of fries. But we make real deal chicken. So, mm. little donkey sauce on there, a toasted brioche bun. Now, this is gonna be one of my favorites. I'll put some barbecue sauce. We'll throw some pickles on the bottom. Yum. A little really thin sliced onions. Even if Beautiful. you don't like the onions, they'll disappear because of the warm chicken. Lay a big piece of that chicken tender on there. But here comes the Rachel part. Potato chips. Oh, low crunch. <laughs> low crunch. You throw some of that potato chip on there for Rach. Okay? Oh. Little potato chip. Mm. A little bit of slaw. I'm gonna make this as big as I possibly can to watch you try to eat it. So we pop these right up on top. 